a Mahabalipuram temple has some magical bells which tolls 18 times in a day simultaneously. But every bell tolls at different intervals of time but not in fraction of minutes. The maximum number of bells in the temple can be right 18 or 10 or 24 or 6. So basically he's he's talking about a temple which has got some magical bells which tolls 18 times in a day simultaneously right these bells toll toll mean meaning they ring simultaneously how many times 18 times in a day right but then every bell tolls at different intervals of time and not in a fraction of minutes i mean that time is not in fraction of minutes so what can be the maximum number of bells in the temple what can be the maximum number of bells in the temple now let's understand this uh, this in a little detail here right see what do we know there are some x number of bells let's assume the number of bells is n right let's assume number of bells is equal to n it says that these bells toll 18 times in a day simultaneously 18 times together so every day they'll ring 18 times together but every bell rings at different intervals of time like for example if let's say the bells are n1 n2 n3 and so on up to whatever be the number of bells every bell rings at different intervals of time like for example the first bell these are assumptions let's say first bell rings after every three minutes so it will ring after three minutes six minutes nine minutes twelve minutes you know, multiples of three minutes second bell may ring at you know multiples of seven minutes so after seven minutes then after let's say uh, 14 minutes then 21 minutes and so on right and then third bell rings after every 11 minutes let's say 11 minutes then after 22 minutes then after 33 minutes and so on right so this way there are different number of bells each bell rings at different intervals of time different intervals of time and uh, together all of them ring 18 times in a day right all of them together ring 18 times in a day and then understand the point that these bells do not ring in fraction of minutes like for example there won't be a bell which rings at you know rings after every seven and a half minutes like for example n4 rings after every seven and a half minutes 7.5 minutes then 15 minutes then 22.5 minutes and so on this is not possible right it is not fraction of minutes it's all integers so three minutes seven minutes 11 minutes and so on these are again just assumptions i'm giving you some numbers there so basically this is the idea there are some number of bells each bell rings at regular intervals of time but not in fraction of minutes and all these bells together ring 18 times all these bells together ring 18 times during the day so what can be the maximum number of bells in the temple what is the maximum number of bells in the temple is the question right now let us first understand that uh, you know if the bells are ringing 18 times in a day after how many minutes will these bells ring right after how many minutes will this uh, will, will this uh, bells ring like for example the number of minutes in a day number of minutes in a day how many minutes 24 hours each hour has got 60 minutes 24 into 60 right so uh, we know that bells ring 18 times during the day so the frequency at which they ring right frequency of frequency of tolling together or ringing together let's say you understand simple uh, question that way but yeah explanation may take a little bit of time so just have patience right so we know that the total number of minutes in a day is 24 into 60 and these bells and these bells ring 18 times so after how many minutes will all the bells ring together is the question at, at what frequency right at what frequency so 24 into 60 minutes divided by 18 times divided by 18 times yes or no number of minutes is 24 into 60 divide that by 18 so what happens 6 into 3 6 into 10 and this is like 8 so what do we get 80 minutes 80 minutes right let me just clear this up so we can say that these bells together all these bells together ring after every 80 minutes after every 80 minutes the frequency is 80 minutes right these bells together ring after every 80 minutes you get it right after every 80 minutes so after 80 minutes then all the bells again will ring after 160 minutes then at 240 minutes then you know uh, then at uh, 320 minutes and so on right then at 320 minutes and so on now here lies the question that if the bells are ringing after every 80 minutes then the question here is what is the maximum number of bells in that temple what is the maximum number of bells in that temple what can be the maximum number of bells see the point is if you understand there can just be two bells and the two bells can ring after every 80 minutes 
I'll, I'll give you some examples, right? Let, let me give you some examples to explain this uh, logic of ringing after 80 minutes. And then we will look at why do we say maximum number of bells or how do we get the maximum number of bells. Let's assume there are only two bells, N1 and N2. Now I can look at, you know, factors of 80, factors of 80 in such a way that uh, the common factor is 80 for those two numbers. You're able to follow the... Uh, or, or sorry, the least common multiple for those two numbers is 80. Like for example, let's say the first bell rings after every, uh, you know, the first bell rings after every 10 minutes. Second bells ring after uh, every 16 minutes. What happens? So if you see, the first bell will ring at 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90 and so on. Second bell will ring at 16, 32, 48, 64, 80, 96 and so on right what is the common time 980 is the common time so i can say these two bells together will ring after every 80 minutes so after 80 minutes then 160 minutes then 240 minutes and so on there are only two bells n1 and n2 just two bells so the factors have been chosen in a way that the common multiple comes out to be 80 right both 10 and 16 both 10 and 16 are factors of 80 both 10 and 60 are factors of 80 and these are the factors of 80 in such a way that for them the common multiple the least common multiple is 80 there can be other possible cases like for example i can say uh, you know we can also say that there is a third bell n3 which rings after every two minutes even if you include the third bell the answer remains 80 only because this two will give you what 2 4 6 8 10 12 14 16 18 20 22 and so on up to 80 the common of 10 16 and 2 is also 80 only i mean if it lists down everything this also will have 80 as a common so we can say you know all the three bells ring after every 80 minutes right and 2 also is a factor of 80 if you understand all these values 10 16 2 are factors of 80 similarly i can say maybe there's one more bell fourth bell also is there which rings after every four minutes even if we look at you know include four in this group now the common multiple the least common multiple is going to be 80 only because you know if a bell rings after every four minutes what will be the times at which it will ring 4 8 12 16 20 24 28 32 and so on right and so on so the common value comes out to be 80 here. So we can say all the bells, you know, together ring after every 80 minutes. And again, like I said, 10, 16, 2, 4, all these are factors of 80. All these are factors of 80. So if I want or if we want the bells to ring after every 80 minutes, if we want the frequency of ringing together to be 80 minutes, it can be done with two bells also. It can be done with three bells. It can be done with four bells. It can be done with five bells and so on. But he's asking us to find the maximum number of bells. Maximum number of bells. Now understand, the maximum number of bells will be nothing but the maximum number of factors of 80. 80 will have a number of factors. 80 will have a number of factors. So if we consider all the factors of 80, we'll get the maximum number of bells. You, you understand this whole explanation here? So simple understanding is the maximum number of bells. See, minimum cannot be answered. I mean, minimum will be, I, I think I can say minimum as uh, two. I mean, if we cannot consider one because he's talking about some number of bells, right? More than one. So minimum, there should be two bells. I can say one bell rings after every 10 minutes, the other bell rings after every 16 minutes. Or I can say one bell rings after every 10 minutes, the other bell rings after every 40 minutes. So 10 and 40 also, the common multiple is 80. Or 16 and 40 also the common multiple. Minimum is 2. But maximum. So maximum number of bells. Right. Maximum number of bells is equal to the total factors of 80. Total factors of 80. That's it. So all we need to do is find out the number of factors of 80. The number of factors of 80. How do we get number of factors of 80? I mean I hope you know the process right how do you find out the factors of a number number of factors of 80 see 80 can be taken as 16 in, we first of all have to express 80 as uh, you know in the form of uh, uh, you know in the exponential form where all the bases are prime numbers like for example 80 can be taken as 16 into 5 right 80 is equal to 16 into 5 where 16 can be taken as 2 power 4 into 5 or 5 power 1. Both 2 and 5 are prime numbers, right? 2 and 5 are. So this is the way you express 80, right? In, in terms of composite, uh, I mean, in terms of this prime factors, right? So 80 is nothing but 2 power 4 into 5 power 1. 2 power 4 into 5 power 1, right? So the number of factors will be equal to what? 4 plus 1 into 1 plus 1, right? I have limited space here. But number of factors will be equal to 4 plus 1 
into 1 plus 1. 4 plus 1, 5. 1 plus 1, 2. 5 into 2, 10. So your answer to this question should be 10. Number of bells. Maximum number of bells will be equal to 10. Option B is the answer. Right? Option B is the answer. I'll, I'll just give you this concept of number of factors. Remember, if n can be expressed as, sorry, you should not confuse with this n. If a number, uh, let's say, x can be taken as a power p into b power q into c power r, then number of factors is equal to p plus 1 into q plus 1. I'm just clearing it off. Right, into uh, r plus 1. This is something that you need to know very well, right? And how do we get the number of factors of, of a given number? So if the number x can be taken as a power p into b power q into c power r, the number of factors will be p plus 1 into q plus 1 into r plus 1. And remember here, all a, b, c are prime. All these are prime. Okay, so based on that, you see that 80 was taken as 2 power 5 in 2 power 4 into 5 power 1, where 2 is prime and 5 also prime. So the number of factors, number of factors comes out to be 4 plus 1 into 1 plus 1, 5 into 2, 10. So option B is the answer, right? So clearly, once again, let me summarize. It says there is a temple which has got some number of bells which told 18 times in a day simultaneously. So the number of times that all these bells ring together is 18 times. And each bell rings at regular intervals of time, different intervals of time, but not in fraction of minutes. So first and foremost, we need to understand at what frequency are these bells ringing. These bells will ring at, you know, 18 times. So if you spread 80, uh, 18 across the day, at what interval of time will they ring? we come out, we get that this is 80 minutes. So it's basically splitting 24 hours into 18 parts, right? So 24 hours has got 60 minutes, 20, I mean 24 hours has got 24 into 60 minutes, divided by 18 minutes. And, and you have to kind of go back to that explanation that I gave you, right? It cannot be a fraction of minutes. We cannot take the bells ringing at fraction of minutes, like seven and a half minutes or two and a half minutes or 3.75 minutes and so on. All the bells will ring at, you know, integer minutes, you, you know, the regular interval will be an integer value. So 24 into 60 is the total number of minutes divided by 18 to get the frequency at which the bells ring. And that's it. The maximum number of bells will be equal to the number of factors of 80. Suppose you get this answer as 90 tomorrow. In, in some, Same question is given with 90. All you have to do is find out the number of factors of 90. How do you get the number of factors? This is how you do it. And there you get the answer. So I think a simple two-step process. Find out the frequency at which they ring together and then for that frequency get the number of factors. It wouldn't take more than 30 seconds for you to crack this question in the exam after you have understood this solution. Alright, so option B, 10 is the answer.